Okay, in this example, uh, we're given a function um, called f that's represented by a formula. And uh, we want to evaluate the function f uh, at the input uh, 3x plus 1. In other words, we want to calculate f of 3x plus 1. So uh, students sometimes have trouble with this uh, type of evaluation, uh, probably because the input um, that we're asked to evaluate the function f at is not just a number, but instead it's an algebraic expression. And uh, what makes the situation a little bit worse is that uh, algebraic expression involves the variable x, which is the same as the input variable uh, for the function f. Uh, but you really shouldn't be confused by this sort of evaluation because it's very similar. Uh, in fact, it's exactly the same uh, as evaluating uh, the function f for a numerical input. I mean, in, in the sense that the process is exactly the same. Uh, the steps in simplifying that evaluation may be a little bit more difficult. Uh, may involve a little bit more algebra, but the process is exactly the same. Uh, what we're going to do is take this um, input, uh, 3x plus 1, and uh, we're going to substitute that for the input variable x uh, everywhere that appears uh, in the formula for the function f. Uh, so let's do that, and then um, let's do the simplification of the result. So f of, x, uh, f of 3x plus 1, uh, that's going to be equal to 2 times uh, 3x plus 1 uh, squared. See, I'm just substituting 3x plus uh, 1 for x uh, in the function formula, for the input variable x in the function formula. And then minus 5 times, and again, I'm going to substitute 3x uh, plus 1 for x. So minus 5 times 3x plus 1, and then plus 2. And now we just want to simplify this algebraic expression uh, to get our final result. So we need to square the quantity 3x plus 1. This sometimes uh, also trips up students. But remember, when you uh, square a quantity, that just means uh, you're going to multiply it by itself. So we need to expand this product uh, 3x plus 1 uh, times 3x plus 1. That's what 3x plus 1 squared means. And then we'll multiply that um, product by 2. Uh, we also need to take the minus 5 and multiply it by the 3x plus 1. That's a little bit easier. That's just a straightforward application of the distributive property. So you're going to multiply the minus 5 times the 3x. That's going to give you minus 15x, of course. And then you're going to multiply the minus 5 times the plus 1, and that would give you uh, minus 5. And then don't forget that plus 2 that's part of the formula. Uh, we have to include that also. All right, so we're not through simplifying yet here because now we need to multiply 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1. So here we're squaring a binomial. So we have to um, uh, multiply each term uh, in the first uh, binomial by each term uh, in the second binomial. So in other words, I need to multiply 3x times 3x, and then also 3x times 1. And then I also take the 1 here and multiply it by 3x, and then also 1 times itself. So we get 2 times 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Uh, 3x times 1, of course, is going to be plus 3x. Uh, 1 times 3x again is plus 3x. And then 1 times 1, of course, is uh, 1. And now don't forget we have this minus 15x here at the end. And then minus 5 plus 2, we can go ahead and add minus 5 plus 2 together. Uh, that gives us minus 3. Now at this point, we can go ahead and add the 3x plus 3x inside the parentheses, uh, because those are like terms. Or if we want to, we can go ahead and multiply uh, uh, through by 2 here, uh, through each term inside the parentheses. So it's really your choice how you want to proceed at this point. Now let me go ahead and simplify inside the parentheses first. So I would have uh, 9x squared plus uh, 6x plus 1 minus uh, 15x minus 3. And then that's going to be multiplied by the 2. So we get 18x uh, squared plus uh, 12x plus 2, and then minus 15x minus 3. And now finally, to finish this simplification of this algebraic expression, we want to add like terms together. We do have a couple of like terms. 12x minus uh, 15x is going to be uh, minus 3x, and then plus 2 minus 3, of course, is minus 1. So there's our final result. Uh, f of 3x plus 1 is 18x squared minus 3x uh, minus 1.